Leon, Leon van Lierop says that he pitied the guy in the, where the corpse got out of the, the coffin. He pitied that second guy who was going like, He's <laughs> cut for life. Yeah. yeah, he is. And even afterwards. But you know, sorry, he, he told me afterwards, he said, I've been in Iraq for six months now. Yeah. And that was why I was so scared because my nerves were shattered after being in Iraq for such a long period of time. And here you come to the next thing. I come back in South Africa, and the second day I'm here, a corpse climbs out of a bed. <laughs> and even afterwards, I wanted to give him a hug and like reassure him I'm, I'm alive. And he just refused. He just kept his distance. He was, but all of them, they just kept their distance. They refused to believe that I'm alive. <laughs> it's an example. It's an example that the rubber referring to. The time and effort that goes in advance, we knew exactly where we were going to do that, that specific day. We did it was a day um, outside um, Bolyunskun. We, we, we had this, um, this venue. So we had to place an ad in the newspapers in that area, which is more Clarkstrop area, where we were advertising for ex, ex security people for a new venture where there were these specific guards to look after the people, in other words, when they cough and they got all expensive jewelry, so these people must be, must be guarded overnight. So it's a case of placing the ad, going out to, <coughs> to, to Clarkstorp, which is Clarkstorp, on a Saturday morning sitting there in the spa, where you interview each of these people half an hour. I interviewed about 19 people. Then you realize that the predicament people are into that, that they haven't got work. It comes through very clearly there. You have a variety of people that you interview. Obviously, you make a deal. You know exactly what you're going to be doing with them. So you offer them a very good salary. There's no way in them because we know end of that day that there, there's no permanent job. So you have to compensate for that in advance, although they don't know it. And then you select your people there. And now you have to arrange for them to come in on that specific day, which is now two weeks later. You phone them again, you've got the job. So it's a long process of making sure you have to think, yeah, I think this will work, that person will work, this one's got a good idea. And I never thought, when Leon's referring to that chap, I never thought that he would react that way. The, the, the chap was from, from whatever, overseas. And um, oh, so there's a lot of effort that goes into it, in, into, into getting the right victims there in front of the camera. And we were fortunate in that gag that we did get those, those, those various reactions. Did you pick up? Did you pick up the reaction that like that the one that gentleman shouted to the lady? I didn't kill you. You heard that? Huh? Yes, I yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Immediately they thought, oh, you know, I didn't kill you. 